I'm Sherry Kay, award-winning pianist, composer, and national cooking contest finalist. I'm also known as the Jazzy Gourmet, because when I'm at home, I like to jazz up my meals, and now you can too. Hi, I'm Sherry Kay, Jazzy Gourmet, and I really like to have toasted nuts handy around the house to use on oatmeal, salads, ice cream, you name it. And it's really easy to toast nuts, considering they're so much tastier, I think, than their raw counterparts. So I'm going to show you now how to toast nuts. I'm going to use pecans today. Put them in my pan. Turn my heat onto about a medium. You don't want to get this too high because they can really burn easily. And once they burn, ugh, then they turn sort of bitter. So they're definitely not better tasting than the raw nut at that point. So the question is, how long do you leave them on the stove at this point? Well, a lot of times cooking is a really scientific type of thing where you have to count and measure everything precisely. This is one of those deals where I use my senses, in this case my nose nose. When you smell the toasting of these nuts, it's almost like the smell of popcorn when you're popping it. That'll tell you that they're properly toasted and you can take them off of the stove. Once the nuts have toasted, remove them from the burner and let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once they've done that, put them in your nut chopper or you can chop them by hand on a cutting board. Chop them up however chunky or fine you want to make them. in a plastic container, seal that container up, and you constantly have toasted nuts all ready. Mm -hmm.